What's up, Trail Slime Squad? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to the crew, then welcome to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell so you're notified whenever I post, and give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. As you guys can see from today's title, I'm doing a 100% honest, underrated slime shop review. So without further ado, let's get started. Before I hop into the review, I do want to give a disclaimer. This package was sent to me for free for the purpose of a review. All opinions are 100% honest and my own. This package is from iGloop Slime. All of the links will be in the description, so make sure you guys check it out. So for packaging, I gave a 10 out of 10. Everything was nicely packaged. They included a care card, as you guys can see. This is actually one of the most unique care cards I've ever received, I think. Everything was nicely packaged with bubble wrap. I do want to mention that one of the slimes actually did slightly leak out, but it wasn't because of the packaging. It was because the slime was actually overfilled and it was barely anything and I was able to clean it up. It wasn't that big of a deal. You guys will see that later on in the video, but I just wanted to point that out. There was also an extra bag, there was two activator pens, and also a cute little bath bomb. And like I said, everything was nicely bubble wrapped. So starting off with this first slime, we have CNC Shake. And I gave this one a 3 out of 10, and here's why. This slime is 3 ounces, and it is supposed to be a magnetic slime. The magnet was included in my package. However, if you purchase a slime, you will have to purchase the magnet separately on their website. So I just wanted to point that out there. But the texture on this one was just not my favorite I have a feeling that the magnetic shavings have something to do with it I just think they didn't mix well with the slime because as you guys can see it was not stretchy at all like at first I thought after I played with it and warmed it up a little bit it would get stretchy but it just seemed to get more stiff as I played with it and it also had a really weird like slick wet residue and the little magnetic shavings were falling out it was just not very fun to play with as for the magnetic aspect of this slime as you guys can see the magnet definitely does pull at the slime the magnet isn't super strong so you don't get a dramatic pull but it definitely works Next we have Solar Flare and I gave this one a 10 out of 10. This slime actually does a color change in the sun but it's been super gloomy here so I couldn't get it to change. But I do have a picture of it that the shop owner sent me so I'll have it on the screen so you guys can see the color. Um, this slime, there's nothing wrong with this slime. I didn't pick up a scent on it. It could be very light but I didn't really smell anything. It's not a terrible slime. It's just not anything like super special. It's just like, I don't know. It's not a bad slime, which is why I gave it a 10 out of 10. It's just not one that I would typically gravitate towards, but again, that's totally my opinion. Next we have Clownfish and I gave this one a 6 out of 10 and here's why. I am a huge fan of microfilm slimes. Actually I think they're like one of my favorite textures but this one just missed the mark for me. Um, I think what the issue was the base of it was a little thin for my liking. It didn't really hold the beads in well and the glitter also got pretty much all over my surface. 
I just wasn't the biggest fan of this slime. It was very crunchy. I will give it that. I love the crunches on this one, but the bead fallout was just a bit annoying. And I think that if the base was a little bit thicker, it definitely would have held in the beads a little better and would have been a little bit more satisfying to play with. Again, these are my preferences. I don't want anyone to think that I'm trying to bash the shop owner of any sort. I'm super appreciative for these packages. So I just want to put that out there. I'm not trying to be rude or mean or anything like that. This is simply just for a review. I will say the scent on this one is like more of a floral scent. You guys know I don't take points off for scent, but I do like to let you guys know what it smells like. It's it's a pretty strong like floral scent. Seafoam is a thick and glossy slime. This one came with heart glitter and it also came with a mermaid tail charm and a little starfish. I gave this one a 10 out of 10. It's super thick and glossy. It has a really nice creamy texture to it as well and I just love the color. The scent on this one is kind of like an ocean breeze air freshener but it's not super strong. It smells really pleasant and like refreshing. I like this one. The color is also gorgeous. I love this color and I don't have that many slimes that are this color. So when I opened the package, I was super excited to get my hands on this one and it definitely did not disappoint. It has really nice bubble pops, it's stretchy, and it's good for pokes and clicks. It's definitely an all around great slime. Pineapple Whip is the next slime and like I said in the beginning this is the slime that actually leaked out a little bit. I think it was just because the package or the container actually was a little bit overfilled when it was originally packaged which caused the slime to leak out a little bit. Not a big deal. This came with a pink pineapple charm and as you guys can see it's super greasy and has like this really weird like oil residue. I'm almost positive that this is actually the fragrance oil. I ended up giving this one a 7 out of 10 because I could not get past this greasy feel on my hands. It just doesn't feel pleasant and it also kind of made my hands burn a little bit. I think what happened was this slime may have been scented after it was already a clay slime. So sometimes I notice that fragrance oils don't really mix into slime when they have clay in them which is why I like to scent my slimes before I add in any add-ins just to be on the safe side. So I think that's what happened here. I think it was just scented after the fact and it just didn't want to mix in because even after playing with this it was still super greasy and oily and it just it wasn't my favorite. I like the scent on this one. It definitely has a really nice pineapple scent but it's not one that I would typically grab for. And last but definitely not least, we have Unicorn Mist. This one is a glow-in-the-dark icy slime. And for some reason, I could not pick up the glow-in-the-dark on my camera. It was making me very mad. But this one definitely does glow in the dark. And it scented like kind of like a candy sweet scent. I really like it. It came with a cute unicorn charm. And I gave this one a 10 out of 10. This was my favorite slime out of the package. The colors are so gorgeous and the texture is super thick. It almost is like an icy jelly hybrid which I definitely enjoy. It's very satisfying to play with. It's stretchy, has really nice pokes, it's holdable. It's just a really, really good slime and I definitely would recommend getting this one because it is just amazing and it goes to like a really nice lavender color which is also very pretty to look at.
going to the overall scorecard. For packaging, I gave a 10 out of 10. C and C Shake got a 3 out of 10. Solar Flare got a 10 out of 10. Clownfish got a 6 out of 10. Sea Foam got 10 out of 10. Pineapple Whip, 7 out of 10. And Unicorn Mist, 10 out of 10. Overall, that is 56 out of 70, which equals out to 80%. A super good score. There were definitely a couple of things that could be improved, but overall, a really nice slime package. Definitely enjoyed this review. As usual, here are the hashtag Troll Slime Squad shout outs thank you guys for being subscribed and also leaving a comment y'all are amazing definitely check out the links in my description for this slime shop and I'll see you guys in my next video bye